Welcome to the setup video for the Winter DPL 2021 review project. This video will be going over the basic setup of the project and we'll be showing the creation of the models, the controllers, and some basic pages. The repo of this project will be linked in the description below and will be used for a review happening on December 2nd. So first things first, we're going to be making the Wales project, so Wales new, and then put name of our um, project, which is going to be review Winter 21. Um, we state the database type, which we're using Postgres in this cohort. So Postgres SQL, and then we're appending API at the end of this so that it knows that we're using something else to render our views. And in our case, React, um, we CD into our review projects and do a yarn create um, React app for our client. Um, we split this, we're going to code dot to open up our code. We're not going to really be adding many gems to this. We're only going to be adding figure, which we might not use. And then bundle so that it knows to install figure. Uh, figure is installed. Um, we can work on our models, so it was G model. And then we're gonna be doing a theater, so theater with a name and location. And then we're gonna be making, we're gonna have movies in the theater, so it was G model movie with a name of the movie and the duration. Um, they also belong to theater, so theater uh, belongs to, uh, I'm gonna cd into the client folder over here, and um, we're gonna be using React router, so yarn add React, React router DOM, and have that one, um, Wales. We're gonna need controllers for these, so we'll use controller, um, theaters, and Wales G controller movies. Let's pull. Um, we're also gonna need Axios, so yarn add Axios. Um, Wales DB create for our database and Wales D and also DB migrate so it adds the models. Um, Wales DB migrate. I misspelled migrate. Um, swipe over, um, check our database, migration. We have two migration files. We have our theaters and we have our movies. As it belongs to um, schema, we go into our movies real quick. Our movies.rb for our model belongs to that is there. And then um, let's go into our theaters. Over here, we're going to make sure that we have has many. And then movies, and they are dependent. And that they destroy the movies when they are deleted. STROY. Save that. Um, we go to our seed file real quick, and we're gonna make movies here. Um, we're gonna have, I guess, three movies. Um, we're gonna have Spider-Man is equal to movies dot create. Um, real quick. 
we should have to do this first. So that's reader one is equal to reader dot create. That has to be a capital T. If I think capital my T. That looks like quite spelling. Um, we need a name. Um, I don't know, Cinemark. And then we also have location, which I guess Main Street. I think it's on Main Street. Uh, go down. So reader two. Oh, um, that was option shift down for duplicating that line. Um, this is gonna be century. Wait. Some she says things on Main Street, but not in, not, not in wherever this is. <laughs> um, century 16, we're just going to stick this one on state. I actually don't think Century 16 is on Main Street. I think state and somewhere near there. I don't know. I haven't been to a theater in a while. Um, I'm going to make another one of these. Uh, theater 3. And we're just going to, I guess, double the theater. We're just going to say this, this is somewhere. Um, we're going to have this be theater 1. Create and we have name. This is gonna be Spider Man one duration is gonna be two hours. We'll just do that. Two, three, we're not gonna have the theaters compete for Spider-Man movies, so they're just going to be separate. Did You just got to um, figure out which theater you want to go to to see which Spider-Man. Um, one hour. One hour. I guess one hour 30 minutes. And then 45 minutes. Um, doing it this way allows you to attach the theater ID without adding the theater ID at the end of your create. Otherwise, you could do it a separate way, which would be to have your, I guess, easiest way to show it would be Spider-Man 4 is equal to movie.create. Um, name, and then this is Sp Amazing Spider-Man, if I can spell, um, duration, Wow, this is gonna be a very long movie. Three hours. And then the last one would be um, the how we have it here. So it's gonna be theater ID. So a theater underscore ID. I believe I can just stick a one there. Oh, I guess the other that first. Oh, no. Push the one key. No ID. Save that. Um, real quick. 
Let's shrink that back here. Uh, Wales DBC to make sure everything is fine. Define method create. So. Which line is this working? Let's see which how many seats we have. We will see um, theaters but all. So we have our theaters. Um, movie, movie, dot all. We do not have any movies. So So it's not hitting these. Oh, we will click schema movie. So movie has name duration theater ID. Zero one dot create. Oh no. We create could be wrong. Stop the movie. That's it. I guess this would be a good time to do a theater dot destroy oh, uh, oh. save that one seat again undefined method movie okay So oh, it's tell oh. Yeah, okay, right there. Movies. Save that. Where is DBC? There we go. Um that did that tell me what I was missing, so um so now we got our seeds. Um just to make sure that we have all of our movies. We go with C movie dot all Caproendo movie. Oh, Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, Spider-Man 4, Theta ID 7, Theta ID 7. Um, the Theta IDs are now starting from 7 because we had to delete our seeds twice. So they made, oh, uh, they went through 0, 0 to 7, 0 to 6 before this. Um, no big deal. Um, that's it. Um, so we know our seeds are working, we know our database 
has no issues at the moment with making the theaters and the movies. Um, so we're just going to go straight to... Okay, um, I forgot to move my controllers into it in API folder. So we're going to quickly delete those, so wait, it was the controller, um, movies, Rails, the controller, um, theaters, and then if we swipe back, we can see that they're gone from there. Uh, I forgot to append the API, so Wales G controller uh, slash API movies and theaters. So now if we have an API folder and we have our movies and our theater, um, I'm gonna quickly fill this out um, with some basic um, controller call action. So, like, define index. And this is just gonna be uh, render JSON movie. Uh, yeah, we are in a movie, so movie to all. And then on the end, define show render JSON. And then uh, movie. Really quickly, gonna make that private. Um, and then this is going to be set movie, define set movie, and at movie is equal to movie dot find params. ID yeah, um, before action yeah, just go. set movie and then only during show destroy. So we're going to have one of those and then update. There. Create. Um, and then the set uh, define set theater as well. Which is gonna be a theater is equal to Theater dot find plans. Then this is most likely going to be theater ID. Um, really quickly, I guess we should go to our routes. Our ID. Uh, we're going to do a namespace do here. Namespace API do. Uh, resource. Uh, Resources, and then we are doing theaters, do resources for our movies, 
and then end end um we're gonna really quickly stop by our package json um we gotta add proxy here um otherwise our database Otherwise, we're not going to have our um, database on a separate. If we have our data, let me <laughs> let me fix that something. Um, we need to add the proxy here so that our database, which is living on a separate host, local host, knows where to look. So that's a local host. Um, 2001 with an HTTPS in front of it. Well, HTTP localhost. Save that. Does that have an error? Oh, I need a comma. Save that, close out of that, save this, um, really quickly, Rails S-P 3001, let's see what this error is, undefined local variable API, so I'm guessing I mistyped, so that that is an error here, namespace. Oh, semicolon. Semicolon. Uh, not semicolon, but like colon is natural colon. <laughs> Um, otherwise, I think that's fine. Yep. Um, gonna open this. Go here. Check my routes. So, yep, it's gonna be a theater ID for when it's doing the call for the theater. Um, And death update and this death. I believe it's destroy and then end. Um, let's see, yep, destroy right there. Save that. I'll throw this in a bit later. Guess um before action set a theater. And that's gonna happen before all the movies. Gonna copy this. I don't all of it though. Um, I only want copy that, paste that. Um, don't need that. Change this to theater. Change this to theater. Um, that's just the ID. Don't need to set movie. Save that. For action um, only um, show and show create not create update and destroy. Um, I'll fill these in later. Double checking. Looks fine. 
sauce box on. So, um, that is one in. I'm gonna split that and yarn start. I'm gonna swap back over here, open it over here. So this is currently our thing. Um, so let me go to interact.js. We don't really want any of this here. Let's get rid of that. Um, also don't really want that. Save. Um, so. And here we're going to be doing our routing for our React router. Um, I'll be going over this tomorrow, so I'm just going to leave this empty for now, maybe. Or I guess I could do a div and just say hi. Um, reader routing to be done during the view. Showing up there just to make sure. Um, let's see our index. Um, we're gonna change this as well to the React router stuff later. And just just for organization, I'm gonna make a new folder, folder, and call this pages. And within here, we're going to have a new file, which is going to be our um, theater. Um, well, I guess home would be a nice one to have first, home.js. Um, we're going to import react well, from react. Cons is equal to cons home is equal to that, make a quick anonymous function, and support the anonymous function, support the default, home, and then in here do a return, and then we're going to have it in the div. Um, each tag h1 and welcome to jink bandago bandago um go back to our app.js kind of get rid of this um import home it will auto-complete it for you, um, and I believe that should just, yep. So, that is basic setup for now. Um, I will be adding some files to this later, as well as getting um, are the TA to help me make some more files to have conflicts and to show off how to do GitHub merging. Um, if you have conflicts and what to do with them, how to handle them as well, doing a review. So I'm gonna stop this video here.